Thank you for joining me for Thursday of the first week of Advent. As I'm recording this today, the snow is falling, a beautiful setting for a time of prayer. Whenever you watch this is really a beautiful setting for a time of prayer. Waiting in silence, waiting in hope. We are your people, we long for you, Lord. God ever with us, Emmanuel. Come, Lord Jesus, Maranatha. Waiting in silence, waiting in hope. We are your people, we trust in your love. O Son of Justice, true Prince of Peace, come with your justice, Lord Maranatha. Waiting in silence, waiting in hope. We are your people, Lord, we seek your truth. Wisdom incarnate, teach us your way. Show us the path of life, Maranatha. A willingness to suffer. We hear in the letter to James, letter of James, be patient therefore, beloved, until the coming of the Lord. The farmer waits for the precious crop from the earth, being patient with it until it receives the early and the late rains. You must also be patient. Strengthen your hearts, for the coming of the Lord is near. Without patience, our expectation degenerates into wishful thinking. Patience comes from the word patior, which means to suffer. The first thing that Jesus promises is suffering. I tell you, you will be weeping and wailing, and you will be sorrowful. But he calls these birth pains. And so what seems a hindrance becomes a way. What seems like an obstacle becomes a door. What seems a misfit becomes a cornerstone. Jesus changes our history from a series of sad incidents and accidents into a constant opportunity for a change of heart. To wait patiently, therefore, means to allow our weeping and wailing to become the purifying preparation by which we are made ready to receive the joy which is promised us. Patience does not come automatically to most of us. Here are some ways to practice patience in an ordinary day. Choose the longer checkout line at the grocery store. Avoid looking at the clock when you're waiting for something. Hold off on checking the mail. Give a little extra consideration to those with whom you live and work God uses such ordinary moments to help us grow into people filled with Christ's own life, but we must allow that to happen. Patience is a powerful tool that allows things to turn out for the better. God bless you.